Hey friends, welcome back to Grand Adventure. I'm your host Mark Guido and I can't tell you how excited we are that we're resuming our travels this coming Saturday. So beginning next week we will be resuming our travel episodes with you. But until then, for this week's short episode, we wanted to do something for all you camping fur parents out there. Because we just bought for Zoe the 5 GPS collar that will help us not only keep track of where Zoe is when we're out boondocking and she's off leash, but also provide us valuable information on Zoe's fitness, which quite frankly in spring she needs a little more of. So stay tuned. So as we get ready to get back on the road, I was thinking about an experience that we had about a year ago that we shared with you in our recent 2020 camping season wrap-up episode. And that took place along the Apache Trail in the Superstition Mountains east of Phoenix. I had been driving along, stopping often to film and to take photographs, and at one of those stops, unbeknownst to me, Zoe had gotten out of the truck. And I drove off, not realizing that Zoe was no longer in the truck. Discovered that about 20 minutes later. And thereafter had about 30 minutes of pure panic before one good Samaritan had picked up Zoe, got my phone number off her dog tag, and gave me a call. And with us getting ready to get back on the road, that got me to thinking. We do an awful lot of boondocking where she's off leash. We do an awful lot of hiking and exploring the area that provides many opportunities for me to get separated from Zoe. Now, Zoe's pretty good about always staying within about 100 feet of me, even when we're off leash. However, you never know. You never know when I might have a repeat of an experience just like what we had on the Apache Trail. So I saw an advertisement for the five dog collar, and that got me to buy it. Uh, they go for about $149, although they are frequently on sale for as little as 100 bucks. And unlike a lot of the GPS dog collars I've seen, this one is not big and bulky. It's lightweight, it's relatively thin, the collar is extremely well made with nice heavy metal buckles. It is completely waterproof, even in salt water, so I don't have to take it off when she goes swimming. It has a light on it that activates if I choose to activate it from my cell phone. There are all kinds of reasons for me to have this. Now, I gotta be honest with you, the fitness tracker is not one of the most important functions as far as we're concerned. The big function for us is the ability to locate Zoe in the event that we get separated. So I'd like to spend a few minutes sharing with you our experience thus far, limited as it is, with this collar as we get ready to get back on the road and camp all across the United States. So before we get started, let's take a quick look at what they sent us in the box. We do, of course, have the Phi collar itself. There's the GPS module. It's actually relatively thin, unlike a lot of the other GPS dog collars we've seen. And they put a nice heavy metal buckle on there, quick release buckle. Underneath here, it says lift, so let's lift. This is the base station that also serves as the charging unit. Uh, this just uses a micro USB cable. Uh, they actually do give us a charger and a micro USB cable right here. Although uh, you can use any micro USB cable and I think I'm gonna use a little 12 inch one I have in our little charging station just to keep things neat and tidy. Now there's no documentation in here at all other than here on the back, it says download the app and chase squirrels. So let's download the app and see how this works. Now, like I said, Zoe needs a little bit more fitness. Uh, she's put on her winter 10. So I am going to put on her Phi collar and we're gonna start testing this and checking out how it works. See, she's not moving very much. Come here. All right, let's see how you're doing my little athlete. Yeah, right. 
So here's the main portal screen on the Fi app that we've installed on our phone, on our Android phone. It is available for iOS as well. You can see up top live, Zoe is at Mountain Shadows. She's been within what's designated as our home location for the past 14 minutes. And you can see a timeline. You can see where we went for a walk. You can see how many steps she took. And you can see where Zoe was at Mountain Shadows previously immediately before the walk. So if we click on the live, it'll open a map. The default is done with uh, Google satellite view, but you can change it right here with the maps to either light or dark mapping. But we'll go back to satellite view. Actually, it's not Google. I just said it's Google, but that's not Google. That's some other mapping provider. But you can see where we've established, if I zoom in here, we've, we've established a radius that's picked up both by both GPS and from our base station. And that shows us that anytime she departs that radius that we've set there in blue, that we're going to get an alert. This is also where I can turn on and off the light on her collar, that little button on the right just above the map layers. Anyway, I'll leave that off. This is also where you can activate lost dog mode where it'll tell you where the dog is located and keep track of her live in order to reunite with the owner. But let's get out of lost dog mode and let's go back to the main portal screen. We're out in the RV parks dog exercise area to help Zoe work off that winter tent. Look at that fat jiggle. We can't wait to get back on the road and resume our regular hikes with Zoe beginning with our upcoming episode 201. This is kind of ex an exciting milestone for us to reach our 200th episode with this week's Grand Adventure video. Fi communicates your dog's location and activities via both Bluetooth and LTE mobile networks. If Zoe remains within the range of the base station, the collar will default to low energy Bluetooth communication with the base station to maintain battery life. And the base station will use user provided Wi Fi to communicate that GPS data and fitness information to the owner's mobile device. If Zoe travels outside the range of the base station, the collar will automatically switch over to using the mobile network to send GPS location, location data to the owner's phone. That blue geofence we established within the Fi app lets us know anytime Zoe might wander off. Now, the other things, I'll start from the right. Here's Zoe's profile where I've got a couple of photos and it's, it's hilarious. You'll see in a moment that it actually creates a social media for dogs. But right next to that, I'm gonna click where it says 4621 at the bottom of the screen. That is where I pull up her fitness tracker. Uh, today's goal is 9,000 steps. We're a little over halfway there at 51%. Uh, you can tell the steps that she's walked, the distance, uh, her record day. Um, this is uh, her new fitness program to get rid of that winter ten. Uh, you can see this by the hour, by the day, by the week, or by the month, uh, starting that using that uh, selection at the bottom of the screen. I'm going to go back to the bottom of, uh, at the menu at the bottom of the screen and I'm going to skip over rank because she's probably ranked somewhere near dead last right now. But that discover, that's hilarious. Anytime anybody uploads a photo of their dog, you'll see these show up almost like an Instagram for dogs. And people can add comments, people can like the photos. Uh, got a kick out of that. Anyway, this is in uh, the uh, gift icon at the top is the refer a friend. That's where we have our referral code there. Uh, you can use that code that you see on your screen in order to uh, get extra rewards for us and get extra rewards for yourself when you sign up with Fi. And we're going to go over here to the notifications tab. You can see where other dogs have liked Zoe's photos. Uh, there are other makers for other uh, brands of collar that work with Fi or harnesses or all kinds of other products that you can buy to work with your Fi from other independent craftspeople. Um, that's pretty much a walkthrough of the entire Fi app. 
So we hope that our experience with the Phi GPS dog collar has proven to be useful information for all you camping fur parents out there for keeping track of your favorite pooch while you're out boondocking or exploring the great outdoors. Uh, now we're going to put down below in the video description our customer referral code. Understand, this video is not sponsored by Phi in any way, shape, or form. We paid for this as a paying customer just like you would. However, that referral code gets you a little extra bonus when you place your order and it gets us a little extra bonus when you place your order for introducing you to the Phi Dog Collar. So it's kind of a you scratch our back, we scratch yours kind of situation. And I know Zoe likes getting her back scratched too. So uh, if you like this episode, please be sure to give us a big thumbs up down below. Also down below, you'll find the comment section. It's where we love to hear from you after each episode of Grand Adventure that we air every Wednesday evening. And with us getting ready to get back on the road this weekend, this is the perfect time that if you are not yet a Grand Adventurer, go smash that little red subscribe button, the one right down there in the lower right hand corner of your screen and ring that notification bell to be sure that you come along on each and every Grand Adventure. We would be honored if you shared the channel with your friends, family, and on social media. So until next week from Parts on the Road Unknown, believe it or not, we're only five days out and we still don't know exactly where we're gonna end up yet, but we'll figure it out before then. So until next week, please remember life is nothing but a grand adventure. We'll see you then.